first and foremost, let's keep the most high above everything. Can I get y'all to like, comment, subscribe on the, uh, for the algorithm, please? Let's do that for the algorithm. I'm up here grinding. Y'all see me hustling. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all build my, if y'all like my content, bro, hit that notification bell. Keep getting tuned in. What's the deal, YouTube? What's the deal? It's your boy ODM Slim, and I'm back again with another one. What another one? We got a lot of things to do, a lot of content to get into. So let's get into this content. The Diddy Saga continues. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Part two. Usher Raymond. Now, we know Diddy didn't mess with a lot of different people. Did a lot of different freaky things around this uh, little universe. And this realm they call YouTube. Since it's a, a, they call YouTube, he getting sticky and, and sticky, Mickey and tricky. And, and the sticky, Mickey, tricky, he end up becoming the diddler. And the diddler do what the diddler does. Diddles with backsides. He's like the Riddler. But with the D. He make all kind of complicated situations. Get you in the middle of it. And once you fail, you get the D. From the diddler and his diddle clan. Title reads, Gino Deals finally revealed what Diddy alleged did to Usher to send him to the hospital. Woo! I mean, he tore his backside up and down, round and round. Get up out of there, Usher Raymond. This is not for you. I say again. This is not for you. Or is it? He had Justin Bieber and Usher Raymond doing his freaky freakies. When it's time to do the freak off, count on him and Usher to have the baby oil. Baby oiled up. See, listen. I'm a black man. I I put baby oil on my skin and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it gets the glow and all that. And it's it's a it's a you know what I'm saying? It's the shine, all that. But I'm scared to use baby oil now. Period. No more baby oil for slim. That's out. Let's get to the content. If you don't mind me asking, because I know the topic is sensitive. What happened to Usher? I heard about some music executive from the industry. Back in Harlem. You know, I heard it from some music executives back in Harlem. And I'm not going to speak on their name. They doing uh, programs and everything like that. And they may be doing some programs. They may speak on it themselves. But I heard it from some music executives. What did you hear? First, you know, I respect this to an extent, right? I heard it from some music executives. You already went overboard by saying you heard it. Is that facts? So if, if I'm saying I heard it already, um, back in Harlem, back anywhere, I'm acknowledging it that I heard it from somebody and by giving a name shows the, um, how can I say? It shows the, 
the value of who was said. So, if I, for example, um, cast spectator. Oh, let's go, cast spectator. Here you go. The cast spectator say, "Hey, Slim, I heard Flacco took it up the backside. I heard about it in this net." Now, I might be like, ah, uh, cast spectator, man. You, you making stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah. Uh, now, Nay, hit me with like, look, Slim. Flacco take it up the backside. It's a video. It's this, is that. Boy, oh, boy. Adam 22 is tearing Flacco apart. Baka, 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 baka. Hit him with some raw uh, baloney. Hit him with that raw baloney. Now I'm like, whoa, Nate, you serious? Yeah, I see this on OnlyFans. Uh, it holds more weight. You understand what I'm saying now? So I'm not knocking you because a lot of his stuff he was saying is on point. Bro, you know, you know how people be talking and we was around some people, something like that. And then some people might say, yo, I don't F with that dude. And we, we, I, at the time, I didn't even know who the F Usher was. You know what I'm saying? It was one of those type of situations. And when probably say, yo, man, I don't F with them niggas. Man, I'm getting out that industry and everything like that. You know, you know, Puff sent this little kid to the hospital. How he sent him to the hospital? Man, nigga was bleeding from the butt. And that's what was. Bleeding from the backside. Puffy is so much of a monster. He have Usher Raymond bleeding from the backside. Usher, Usher, and Lil John. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in the club with my homies. Where the homies was then, bro? What was the homies there? Well, you needed their help. You know, backside rumbled and tumbled with. The Rumble in the Jungle. Starring the Diddler. And Usher Backside. Come on. You little kid. Said. Oh, I didn't even have a name for the kid at the time. Then you heard it, and that's what happened. And that's just, you know, that's something that you heard. You don't know if it's true. You just heard it. So, and just to hear this and this new thing where they saying that they got kids coming forward and said that he did that. I, I don't, man, that shit is crazy. And like I just said, you know, that's just something that I heard. It's something that I didn't know. It's something that. So we're going we, we, we to say, he saying, He's saying, so he's what he's saying is that since that he knew what was going on, that he would have either stopped it, re- said something about it, reported it, whatever. Well, that's why I assume he's saying we're gonna summarize and assume it was, it was, it was, we're gonna call it summary assuming because summarizing the whole story itself, he said that's a bad thing going on. This not, and he's saying this is what we heard. He don't know for the facts. It's not whoop whoop. So I'm going to just assume that if he knew for a fact that he probably would have stepped in, intervened, did something about it. I'm hoping. What y'all think? That I ain't see. You know, a lot of people want to, you know, because Gene Deal has spoken on certain things that I've heard. I have spoken on it. But then they were just trying to say, I know. No, I'm not scared to say what I heard. And if there's any truth to it, then it's truth to it. Let them find it. Things that I've saw or things that I've witnessed and been a part of, I've said it. I'm not afraid to say what I saw or what I didn't see. A lot of people want to make up shit. I don't make up things. When I say Facts. Puff go in the room with two girls. Facts. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. He... In other words, saying like if I if I if I heard it or if I seen it or if I you know what I'm saying was seen it with my own eyes, I spoke on it. 
if I heard I spoke on it, which means he's saying that I'm putting it out there for the world and for the for the for the mass to see. Because everybody don't understand how wicked and dark this man can be. Let's go. You understand? And another guy and a rapper. And then all of a sudden, they uh, cousin try to go in the room. I throw him up against the piano. They run out the room with grabbing towels and they naked. They still had two girls in the room. But people want to make up a lot of bullshit. And say what they want to say and flip it the way they want to flip it. I tell it like it is. But you got these guys, you got these people out here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, all this shit is for entertainment, man. Some people want the truth. Some people speak the truth. Some people don't even know the fucking truth. It has smacked them dead in the fucking face, brother. But I tell you one thing. It's from my mouth to God's ear. And all these... Now that's facts. People understand before this came up, in years people been talking about Diddy, talking about all these type of people, uh Andre Arrow and, and the, the uh Clyde Clyde um Clyde Davis and all this other stuff. They they been talking about these people, right? Talking about how freaky these people is and how these people go and get in these freak offs and all this type of stuff. But nothing been said, nothing been done to it. You know what I'm saying? So this man is talking and speaking on his speaking his truth and speaking on stuff, and people going, Oh, he lying, he lying, he lying. Jaguar Wright, the same thing. She lying, she lying, she lying. Shout out Jaguar Wright, baby. I love you, girl. Straight up. Expose these niggas. These clowns can say whatever they want to say. Like I'm just saying, he lived a rock and roll lifestyle when I was with him, bro. I don't know about his sex addiction and stuff like that. You know, I don't, you know, he was a totally different person, bro. When I try to tell people that they don't understand that he was probably doing some of the little snake shit, doing some things and stuff like that, you know, but the magnitude and what he was doing with the freak off parties and all like that, yo, I didn't experience that with him. That was not my experience with Diddy. All puffy. All puff daddy. That wasn't my experience with him. And you had no idea who Usher was when you heard about him. Listen, let's go here. All right. P. Diddy. Puff daddy. And P. Diddy, puff daddy. And just Diddy. Let's break the names down. Puff daddy. What do Puff Daddy means? Is it Puff Daddy? Or is it Puff Daddy? Daddy. Scrumming and screaming and all that, Daddy. Daddy. Why are we calling the grown man Daddy? And then when it sounded kind of wicked and weird, he changed it to P. Diddy. Sounds like P did it. It sounds like P did it. Or didn't he? We never know. Because his industry is very wicked. And confusing. And freaky. Freaky like a freaky little monster. Ah ah. It's October. So I feel like I try to count Dracula. Ah ah. Freaky like a freaky little monster. Ah, ah. <laughs> We're going to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? They say, ODM, you don't like to let the movies play out. You don't like to do this. Guess what? Welcome to the ODM Slim Show, where the movies do not play fully through. And I react. Ah, ah. I didn't know who Usher was at the time. It's all going to come out some kind of way, bro. All this is God's, it, 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 this is going to be, this is something that was put in place and it was the, it was, it was the design by God, brother, for all this to happen and go down like this. Let's stay on that fact right there. Let's stay right there in that fact. Let's stay right there in that fact, right? He's saying this is designed by God to happen this way. This is designed by God to happen this way. 
Let me show you what he mean by that. Same thing when, say, the 15th centuries, Jesus Christ was whitewashed, right? And all of a sudden, Vladimir Putin lit a, 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 a temple out that was uh, 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 locked to the 14th century and released all the paintings. That's designed by God to tell the truth. That's designed by God to show you that it's real life stuff going on, right? Certain things, even over time, it can take years, centuries. It's meant to be revealed. God put it in place in the head so the next person can understand and read it and understand it and break the code. This designed by God. And everything else that's out here living for the flesh, living for the for the for the fame and the fortune, living for everything else, it will be destroyed. In God's name. It will be destroyed. In God's name. Shalom. Shalom. Just like that. It'll be destroyed. Ah. It's your boy ODM Slim. ODM Slim Show. October time, baby. Uh-uh.